Assalamu alaikum everyone. My name is Monorul Islam from American International University, Bangladesh. I am doing digital logic design course under the supervision of Chaudhary Akram Hussain Sir. I am doing a project. My project name is Water Level Indicator using NotGet. In this project, I am going to develop a device that will indicate water level. So let's simulate this project. To simulate the project, we need these components here: five volt DC source, DC five for seven transistor, a not yet, some resistor to it, and some LED. Now, now I am connecting the twenty ohm resistor with the base, and the twenty ohm resistor with the collector. And not get with the collector. Now we will copy it and paste it for four times. Let's connect the LEDs. And get empty directly to the first collector. Connect all the 10K register with the positive and, and connect all the emitter common ground. There will be five four switch at different level. Now connect the switch to the five volt and the other side with the first. for the rest of let's start the simulation let us start the simulation when the water tank is empty this probe will blow a little bit water the empty led will be turned off and the low led will glow when there is half of the water it will glow low and half led when then there are more water the full led will glow when the water is overflowing the overflow led will glow That was all our simulation part. Let's move to the next. For implementation, we will. Need some component. Five millimeter LED on IC seven four zero four four DC five four seven transistor on MOSFET seven eight zero five four ten ohm resistor four two twenty ohm resistor and some connection wire on breadboard and DC battery 
at first place the voltage regulator to convert the 9 volt battery to 5 volt diagram for connecting 9 volt to 5 volt is on the screen now it will be the 9 volt input and these are the is common ground and it will be the 5 volt output place four transistor on the breadboard then connect 220 ohm resistor with transistor base Now place the IC on the breadboard. And connect and connect the pin 14 with 5 volt and as VCC and pin 7 as ground. Now let's connect the not gate with the connector. Put of the not yet with the positive side of the LED and the other side is ground. Connect the LED directly with collector for empty signal. Connect all the emitter with common ground. Now, now I have connected all the emitter to the common ground. I have added some air which are in different, different level to detect the water level. Let's connect them with 220 ohm register. Now let's check it is working or not. Yes, 
connect the battery the led is glowing that means it's a no water in it let's add some water in it when there is little bit water the first led is off and the low led is turned on let's add more water the second glow the second is the second is also glowing that means the water is half the third led is glowing that means the water is full when the water is full or overflowing all the led is are glowing <laughs> 